Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, last week I was able to take just a little time off. I kind of put that in quotations because I guess in this line of work, at least for me, it's never really time off. I'm even on like a, a week trip like we had last week, I'd take my camera with me and I'm always looking to uh, take some pictures, whether it be family stuff or maybe we were at the beach, so maybe some landscapes or skies, as I showed in my video last year from the beach. Uh, but this year, uh, I thought since I was going on a trip and I actually got a new little tripod in, I thought I would just kind of make a short video comparing the tripods that I actually use on my trips for mainly behind the scenes uh, type videos or a little bit of vlogging. And when I travel with a full tripod or something that can be a full tripod, I figured I would show that one as well. So we will take a look at the tripods that I use after we roll that intro. All right, so let's just jump right into this and talk about tripods. <laughs> it's an exciting topic here, but it's something that uh, I'm, I'm guessing most of us have all had to use. And when it comes to these smaller uh, tabletop options, there are hundreds, if not maybe a thousand or more um, of these guys that you can probably make a decision from. Uh, and I just thought I would run through the ones that I actually use in my workflow to hopefully uh, save you from buying some junk that you're just gonna <laughs> end up throwing away, uh, which is what I've done with several other renditions of these tabletop tripods. So uh, let's just go through, I've got them kind of lined up here, but let me move these two out of the way and we'll start with the most basic, which is one of these guys. Um, and you can get these off of Amazon and I'll put links to all these tripods uh, down below to make it easy for you. But this is just a simple little plastic uh, you've got a like a quarter 20 or something uh, mount on top uh, with a lever that will help you maneuver this little uh, mounting head around, I guess that's what you call it. Uh, you can find this under several different brands. Manfrotto even makes one. Uh, I think you might pay a little premium uh, for their name on this uh, tripod. Um, what you can do is you can mount this to the bottom of most of your cameras uh, or uh, you know, if you've got a cage or something like that or a plate um, that's got a screw in there. You can also, if you want to use it for a phone, <clears throat> you can find these uh, phone mounts um, and screw this onto here and then you'll have a little uh, phone tripod and a pretty you know, compact little setup here where you can mount your phone and set this up and, and shoot kind of behind the scenes. You've got some flexibility with the legs on these guys. Uh, you know, it's just kind of is what it is. And I rarely now use <laughs> this guy. If I've got an extra camera or something around or if I'm here in the studio and I do have it available, sometimes I'll use this guy. But uh, lately or in, and um, more recently, I've transitioned to uh, this one here by small rig, this little tripod. And this guy here is, is all metal. You got some uh, rubber on the bottoms here for grip on these legs. The legs don't have clickable adjustments, uh, but you can adjust these screws here, which can make them easier or tighter to, you know, tighter to move. Uh, it's got a Arca Swiss um, style mount plate, which is very convenient um, with these other tripods. So if I've got the same little plate on my camera, I can move it from this one to this one to uh, another head, basically, basically all my tripods, except for the videos of the Manfrotto plates, all of my still and then behind the scenes cameras are set with the little uh, Manfrotto, or little Arca Swiss uh, style um, plates, which in this day and age is really convenient. Just if I need to um, pop them here and there, I can quickly take them in and out. Now, one thing with this, this tripod head here is there's no locking safety lock or anything on here. So it'll, it'll hold your camera. Uh, let me, I've got my, just a quick aside for my behind the scenes uh, setups and uh, 
capture for my behind the scenes capture. I've been using uh, this little Canon M6 uh, Mark II. It's got a nice little flip up screen. Uh, this is a kit lens on it. It's the 15 to 45. Uh, usually I'm out kind of at 15 if I'm uh, needing to, to, I guess, kind of vlog with it. Don't do that very often. Uh, but so I've got one of these little small uh, plates that work with the Peak Design, um, work with this other tripod I'm about to talk, talk about. And so this will just kind of go in here, screw it in. I mean, it's, it's not going anywhere. But for some reason, if this does loosen up, and you go to pick this up, this camera is going to fall out. So that is just one thing to kind of, you know, keep in the back of your head. Uh, but when it comes to, you know, sturdy robustness, I mean, this this tripod, it's it's tough. Uh, and you've got different head adjustments here. You've got a uh, a dial here which will uh, loosen the ball head, so you can kind of work the camera at different angles. Um, and then right back here, you get kind of your pan uh, rotation. Uh, lever on the back there. So you, you basically have all the adjustments you need. You also have like a little gap right in here if for some reason, you know, if you're shooting stills and you need to do some vertical style shooting. Uh, or I, even I guess maybe if you want to do like a um, Instagram story type setup, you can, you can set it to go into that little crack there. So like I said, I've been using this guy uh, probably uh, for the last six months or more. Um, if you saw my video from my do you want to be a commercial photographer video from Alabama and I showed I did some behind the scenes type uh, shooting with some <laughs> vlog stuff in the hotel. Uh, this was the tripod I was using so uh, it's I'm, I was really I'm really happy with it. It's a solid piece of gear. Uh, the only thing is just you know not having a safety on uh, this tripod head right here. Uh, back to this Canon M6 Mark II. Uh, if you want to do like vlog stuff, you see how the, the screen pops up. What you'll need to get is this small rig side mount with a cold shoe adapter. So you can mount the mic here instead of up here, which totally blocks uh, the screen. So with this mount adapter over here, this is a super compact. I can get it back in. This is just a super um, compact little setup. And if you're like me and a little self-conscious about walking around and talking to a camera, uh, this is a lot smaller of a kit form factor than say like the R5 with a um, big road mic uh, type of setup. So this is kind of my behind the scenes camera. All right, so let's move on to our third contestant uh, on the Tripod is Right today, <laughs> which would be the uh, PGY Tech and they call this one the Mantis Pod. And here's the uh, box this guy comes in. Like I said, I got this just uh, last week, week before last. And it kind of takes the best of both of these types of setups and puts it into one kind of small piece of kit here. So let's quickly run through it. Um, let me move these guys back out of the way. Uh, so, as I mentioned, it, it kind of improves on both of these setups, I guess is the better way to put it. Uh, you've, you start out with you know, a form factor very similar um, to both of these in height. Uh, you've got your three legs. Uh, in this case, these guys kind of spin together in a nice solo kind of handle. So if you want to you know, use this as like a vlogging type of uh, tripod, uh, it's really comfortable. You got rubber grips, which you do not have on this. And I can speak from experience, this guy gets nice and cold <laughs> from when it's outside and in the cold. Uh, you're not gonna have that problem uh, with this one. I mean, these are plastic, but they feel nice and sturdy and you have these nice comfortable rubber grips here. Let me just show you what's cool about this one, which these other ones don't really have, is uh, you've got buttons and kind of locking uh, mechanisms. Uh, for basically every adjustment on uh, this tripod, including the head here. So you've got like levers for the ball head uh, kind of situation here. So, you know, you flip this lever here to uh, loosen it, clamp it back down to tighten it. Uh, where this guy uh, does not have a safety on the Arca Swiss mount here, you've got a lever that you do that you flip down right here so you can slide the camera in. And then right here you do have a lock, which will prevent that 
uh, from accidentally tripping and your camera falling on the floor. Uh, you've also got you know, your pan uh, rotation uh, right here adjustment. That also locks down. Uh, what is also <laughs> cool, and like I said, it kind of takes the best of this tripod as well. Inside this one leg here, they have placed a phone mount. So if you find that, you know, you, you've got your, if you've got your small like uh, vlog set up or a little behind the scenes camera set up, but in addition, or uh, for some reason, you want to just kind of quickly grab your phone, uh, you've got a phone mount in this leg that you can pop out, uh, mount right in here and go to, uh, you know, go to work using your phone like you would have to do with this full adapter and everything on this tripod. So this neatly hides right in inside the leg here. Uh, so then you just kind of pop it right back in. Uh, also in this leg, you've got this little lever right here, which is a really neat uh, addition to this tripod. So if you come across like a door or uh, some type of, um, and I would say maybe like vertical type surface. Uh, it could be a shelf or, or something. You can slide this behind uh, that and then you can maneuver uh, these legs right here. And now what I'll do is I'll, I'll show a picture of it on the box there. Uh, and then you adjust the tripod or the head here. And so this gives you a whole nother uh, mounting point. So if you're out on location and there's like a brick wall or, or, or I mean not brick wall, but something more narrow, uh, instead of having to just put it on the on the ground like you would these other ones, you this gives you the option to kind of mount it higher up, give you a different plane of view uh, where you can go hands free uh, with this uh, tripod here if you're you know wanting to film behind the scenes or kind of vlog stuff, talking head, you know, what have you. So pretty neat in just this one leg. And we're not done yet. Uh, on top here, you've got another uh, mount or point of contact here uh, for your tripod head. So this slides right over here. Once again, there's a locking mechanism right there and it'll slide right into that point there and you can tighten it down, bring these legs out. So if you find yourself in a situation where you want to do a little bit of talking head type stuff, you might not have the widest lens on your camera. Let me move this around since we're talking about him. You might not have the widest lens on your camera. This gives you the option to get it further away from you. Uh, just, you know, another uh, neat thing they thought about on this tripod. Uh, you know, what else they, could they put on here? I'm not really sure. Uh, so I'm going to put that back. The one thing that did get me when I first uh, used this, or when I first uh, opened it up, what I did when I first uh, opened this thing is I just pulled these legs out, separated them like you would, uh, you know, what you would think like on one of these normal tripods. And you see it, it basically just falls kind of flat down. So what you have to watch out for is instead of pulling them out like you would think like this, you keep it locked and then you just rotate these legs around. And that way they hit these rubber points of contact and give you grip on the surface. This also uh, initiates kind of this locking sequence that this head has. Um, so you can kind of hit these different um, points of height. Uh, you know, everything is just really well thought out on this uh, tripod head and everything has a safety and a lock. Uh, just a really, I mean, it's just a, a really, I, I wanna, don't want to call it revolutionary, but it's just a, a cool um, piece of gear, which I think solves a lot of the issues that you might have with these other uh, tripods. So in this one, one tripod here, you, you kind of get all those answers that you are kind of missing over here. You do pay for it though, uh, whereas you know this one is probably 20 to 30 bucks with the attachment. Uh, this small rig uh, unit here is around 50 bucks. Um, and this guy here, the Manus, um, Manus Pod Pro is 150 bucks. Um, they do have a non-pro, I guess like standard edition, and it's gonna be, I think it's around 9,900 bucks. But my thought is if you're gonna step up to it and you're gonna use it a lot, uh, you might as well get the uh, pro version. So that is the uh, Manus Pro. Um, tripod, which I think is, is really cool. Now, I do have this guy here. This is more of a, 
well, let's say travel tripod, but it will extend out to basically be a full-size tripod. And I thought I'd just include this in the video. Uh, this is the, I'm forgetting here, this is the <laughs> Peak Design uh, tri travel tripod they came out with, uh, I guess it might have been two years by now. These aren't cheap. Uh, this guy here is the aluminum version. Uh, I think it's 350 bucks. But once again, it's kind of like this here. If you're gonna use it, uh, you know, if it, it does, it solves all the issues that other tripods might have, uh, the innovation is worth it, if you ask me. Uh, just to not have the headaches that you would have, like, let me show you. This is the travel tripod that I used before. Uh, carbon, graphite, Manfrotto, really nice tripod, but you know, basically I replaced it with this one here. Uh, and you can see <laughs> this guy is a monster and I probably have um, probably a little overkill with the head on this one. It's a really right stuff, uh, basically for a full size or larger camera. But this is the tripod that I was using as a travel tripod until or before this one came out here. And this one, I can, it fits nicely on the side of a backpack. I, it hardly weighs anything. I can fold this sucker down. Uh, I can put it in my carry-on bag or my pack uh, check bag. And this fits in with my clothes. It just doesn't take a lot of room. So if I'm gonna, if I'm restricted in the gear that I can take somewhere, this also comes with a phone holder. There are reviews on this tripod all over YouTube. I suggest, you know, if you're really looking into it, maybe check those out. There are also a lot of reviews on this uh, Manus pod as well. I'm just here to say they both, uh, I think in my mind, they're worth the investment. To sum it up, I guess at this point, if I'm gonna need a full size tripod at any point and I'm traveling and I'm restricted, this guy's the one that's going with me. And if I have the opportunity to take two tripods, this guy's definitely going and then this guy's going. Uh, if I'm not restricted or if I'm restricted where I, for some reason I'm not gonna you know, have room for this guy, this would probably be my everyday kind of behind the scenes if I need to do any little uh, vlogging type sequences. I kind of have the feeling that it's gonna be my main go-to at this point. Um, speaking of vlogging, as I mentioned, I don't do that um, very often. I don't think I'm very good at it, but I do have several cool shoots coming up in the future. That was where you know, it's gonna warrant probably doing some of that type of type of stuff. So that was on my mind when I saw this tripod come out and one reason I jumped on it uh, when I did. And I'm happy that I did for all the other features uh, as well. So just thought I would put this little video together, hopefully save y'all some money um, in the long run. Um, probably not in the short run if you're gonna go out and buy uh, these guys, but uh, I think you'll be happy with them if you do. So if like as usual, any comments, questions, please feel free to drop those down below. Uh, if you feel this video is worthy, um, and, and unfortunately you might go and spend some money, but please give me that thumbs up uh, on the video to help it out with YouTube. Uh, also, if you wanna see more content like this in the future, uh, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell there so YouTube will actually let you know when I'm back on here. Uh, you can find me on social media at Quants Photo on Instagram and Twitter. Please be safe and healthy out there. And I should be back here again soon with another photography related video. See you then.